this is your daily devotional from the inspired word of God. September 14, to be like Jesus, one small book produced big results. Matthew 13, verses 3 to 9. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no roots, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground, and brought forth fruit. Some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who have ears to hear, let him hear. After the meeting closed, a service at the Michigan camp meeting, a sister took me heartily by the hand, expressing great joy at meeting Sister White again. She inquired if I remembered calling at a log house in the woods 22 years before. She gave us refreshments, and I left with them a little book, Experience and Views. She stated that she had lent that little book to her neighbors as new families had settled around her, until there was very little left of it and she expressed a great desire to obtain another copy of the work. Her neighbors were deeply interested in it and were desirous of seeing the writer. She said that when I called upon her, I talked to her of Jesus and of the beauties of heaven, and that the words were spoken with such fervor that she was charmed and had never forgotten them. Since that time, the Lord had sent ministers to preach the truth to them, and now there was quite a company observing the Sabbath. The influence of that little book, now worn out with her using, had extended from one to another, performing its silent work until the soil was ready for the seeds of truth. I well remember the long journey took 22 years ago in Michigan. We were on our way to hold a meeting in Virgins. We were 15 miles from our destination. Our driver had passed over the road repeatedly and was well acquainted with it, but was compelled to acknowledge that he had lost the way. We traveled 40 miles that day through the woods, over logs and fallen trees, where there was scarcely a trace of wood. We could not understand why we should be left to this singular wandering in the wilderness. We were never more pleased than when we came in sight of a little clearing on which was a log cabin, where we found the sister I have mentioned. She kindly welcomed us to her home and provided us with refreshments, which were gratefully received. As we rested, I talked with the family and left them the little book. She gladly accepted it and has preserved it until the present time. For 22 years, our wanderings on this journey have seemed indeed mysterious to us, but here we met quite a company who are now believers in the truth and who date their first experience from the influence of that little book. Maranatha, Jesus is coming soon.